there's really three things. And the sales management and leadership is central to all three of them. And the first one is managing behaviors. As a manager, one of the things that we need our managers to do is not just manage results, not just talk about what you sold last month or, you know, here's what your quota is or your, your past performance. Like we've got to get them, instead of being reactive, we got to get them proactive. We've got to set those expectations. And so managing to the leading indicators, every single manager should know for every single one of their direct reports, what is their average deal size? What is their average close ratio? How many deals do they need to have in the pipeline to be able to hit their number? Like those numbers should be on the back of your hand. You, sh you should have that memorized for every one of your sellers so that you can help them to be able to do that. And when you have those numbers at the forefront, then you're going to be managing proactively. And then the second one is consistency. We, especially leaders, get so incredibly busy and there's so many demands on us. And frankly, the more data we have, you know, the more, more people are watching us and looking at us as leaders and expecting more. And, you know, it's just, it's a lot. And so what tends to go to the wayside is the consistency of having those coaching conversations where you're able to help sellers move the needle and help empower them to be able to move the needle and not just be a super salesperson and come in and close the deal for them. The third thing is around having a North Star, right? For every salesperson, for every sales manager, like have that one thing that you're going to be focused on and focus on that thing. Figure out what is your, what's going to be your two millimeter shift and then work that shift.